guys how are you all doing it's your girl cc and i'm back again today with another interesting video i trust you guys are doing great enjoying life having fun thank you so much for clicking to watch this video what are the things women do that men love so in today's video we are gonna see a couple of videos from these men talking about what men love in women so basically cute things women do that guys love now what inspired me to make this video um i'm gonna tell you okay i went on twitter i saw this post from this guy he listed a whole lot of things and he was like ladies i'm not gonna reveal this to you these are the cute things women do that men love so i was like wow this is gonna be an interesting topic so i've done my research and i have put together you know few videos from women as well talking about cute things men do that they love of course it's gonna be um a separate video which i'm gonna bring to you all, but today we are gonna see videos from men please check these videos out there are five things women do that guys absolutely find adorable. Now, if you're not already following me, make sure you hit that follow button because I make videos like this every single day. Number one. Ladies, whenever you're sitting next to a guy and you guys are watching a movie or something, right? And you just go like that with your head onto his shoulder. Oh, that shit is so adorable. I don't know if there's a man on earth who doesn't appreciate that. Number two. Now, we all know men are supposed to be providers and we're supposed to take care of our family and our woman and things like that. But whenever you can take that role over for him every now and then, we notice that. For example, if he's ever sick or he's kind of down, you maybe make his favorite food, get him, give him some soup or something, some hugs, some kisses, and just be there for him whenever these times occur. It's the best feeling ever. Number three is cuddling. I read something the other day that men actually like cuddling more than women. I'm big on stats and shit like that. I'm kind of a nerd. A cuddle is ass. Trust me, don't take this shit for granted. He loves it. If he likes you, of course. Number four, whenever you guys are chopping it up, and for the people who don't understand slang, chopping it up just means whenever you guys are talking. Just touch him every now and then. Touch his arm, touch his shoulder. He'll notice that. And he'll love it, I promise you. Number five, this goes back to cuddling, ladies. If you cuddle him the right way and put your hand on his chest when y'all are cuddling. Oh. Things girls do that guys find attractive. When you guys have bed hair. Maybe you don't know what that means, but when you guys have been sleeping all day or you're about to go to bed or you just woke up in the morning and you guys got that crazy frizzy hair going on, we'd love that. Especially if you put it into a messy ponytail. When you guys wear t-shirts as pajamas. There is literally nothing more attractive than when you see a girl and she's wearing her t-shirt as her pajamas. And especially if you combine it with step one and you got the messy hair too. When you come work out with us. Even if you're only lifting like 10 pounds, that's so attractive. He's going to look at you and be like, that ain't much, but I like it. When you have a funny or really bad laugh, especially if it's one of those ugly laughs. Oh my God. Your sleepy voice right after a nap or really late at night. I swear, girls be knowing what they're doing with this one too. 12 a.m. will hit and you guys will just start talking different. I mean, it's working, but you're not fooling nobody. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for most of the guys here. These are the most attractive things a woman can do. Or at least my personal opinion on what my favorite things are. <laughs> like, yeah, I like holding your hand and everything. But when we're walking side by side and you slide your arm like on the inside of my bicep. Oh my God. Like that'd be hitting different. I don't know. <laughs> or if I'm driving and you lean over and give me a kiss on my cheek. Oh my God. Another thing is whenever I want to go do something, and I know that you're probably not going to want to, but you end up saying, yeah, let's go do it. I'm like, oh my God, I want to marry you right now. Like, even though you don't want to do it, you're doing it because I want to. Oh, like, of course I do the same thing for you, but it just hits different whenever you do it for me. Or like when I'm just sitting there or standing there and you just happen to walk by me, you somehow just touch me in some way. Even if it's just like across my arm or my shoulder. I love that. <laughs> Oh, but also whenever I'm driving and I can feel you staring at me and I can see it through the corner of my eye, but you don't know. I love that. More things girls do that guys find so attractive. Number one, 
eye contact. Ladies, I cannot stress to you enough. If we're talking, and I don't even want to say in a flirty way, because in a flirty way, oh my god, that shit hits different. But if we're talking and you just keep that eye contact, like right here, just staring into our soul. Oh, god, ow, fuck. <laughs> Bro, that shit's gonna make us full the numero dos for like sitting down watching a movie or something like that, right? You put your head on our shoulder, tu cabeza on our shoulder. Mmm, mmm. That hits better than that Celsius just hit my fucking mouth. He won't show up, but on the inside, oh my god, we're feeling so many things. And finally, the third one on this list. Now, this is for a select few, okay? But if you are bilingual, jump off the fucking roof right now and obviously me personally if you know me if you've been following me you already know me favorito but we love a woman who can communicate in multiple languages don't make a grown man pass out so there you go ladies and mis hermanos let me know if you agree De nada. <laughs> what we boys find attractive in girls oh let's go a messy bun i don't know what it is but it's just it's just so damn attractive like when a girl has a, a messy bun i'm just there like oh my god you look so fine today you know what i mean it's just i don't know what it is it just looks so attractive oversized hoodies i don't really know why i find oversized hoodies on girls so damn attractive i don't know why but it's just like you want to when you see some a girl with a ho oversized hoodie you just want to hug him. That's all I got to say. If a girl can make you laugh and has humor, you've already won the boy's heart. I don't care what you say. You've already won the boy's heart. You are a hundred times attractive than every other single girl who is just dead and plain boring. If a girl is family orientated, you already, you already won my heart. I'm going to propose to you right now. I'm going to bend down my knee and say, will you marry me right now? When a girl's freaky, oh my God, this is hella attractive. I don't care. This has got me drooling from my mouth. I don't, I, I don't know why. It's just hella attractive, okay? If you're freaky, then come my way. Stuff for the last, stuff for the last, but you know, it's probably Ladies, here's what men actually want in you. I was here on TikTok, guys always talking about, here's what ladies want in you. And girls talking about, ladies, this is what guys want in you. But I never hear a guy talking about, hey, this is what we want in girls. So, here goes. Starting off with innocence. We all love innocence, and if you are too good in the bed, we start to get suspicious. But this also includes kind of how we met you. If we met you on Tinder or at the club, instantly we don't like you as much. Now, I'm not saying, oh, you're not allowed to go to the club. You're not allowed to have a dating app. You're not allowed to do this and that. Do what you want. But just understand, when it comes time to settle down, a guy is going to want a woman who hasn't been around with a lot of guys. Second, we do not like you to be super, super, super social in terms of like, oh, he's just my guy friend. Like we love when you have a group of friends with girls, right? Go out with them, do your nails, etc. The moment you got streaks, the moment you're Snapchatting guys, the moment he's just your gay best friend, it just, it rubs us the wrong way. Why? Because when you say, oh, I just get along better with guys and that's why they're my friends, it leads us guys to believe that we aren't enough for you straight up. What we want as guys is for us to be our woman's world. We want our woman to be our world. If you need two of us in your life, if you need a Snapchat list full of 100 guys that you text on the daily and have streaks with or whatever, then we just, we're not going to find that attractive is the best way to put it. Number three is guys, we love our alone time, okay? We're weirdos. So if we become distant, if we start to like not reply as fast or just near alone time, or like maybe you shouldn't hang out this week, it's literally not you at all. Understand that. Just understand we love just being alone in isolation sometimes. Why? Because us guys, we don't really talk about our thoughts. We kind of just think to ourselves about our thoughts and let them brew in our mind. It, it sounds bad to most people, but it, it's just what guys do. So if we're going through something, it's never you. Literally, we would let you know is one thing about us. We will let you know if it is you and we will show you. So if it seems like we start to pull away, just understand it's because we just need our time alone as men. Number four, if you make us look good in public around our friends in social situations, we will put a ring on your finger. What I kind of mean like this is when we go on public, when we're around friends, do you act like you are ours or do you act kind of distant? Also, when we start dating you, if your friends say you're like a lucky guy, we like that. We don't like to hear like, oh, you're dating her. Like a bad example of this would be the Logan Paul Nina situation how she's like really making him look bad right now because of her history even though her past probably isn't even as bad as like dylan is painting it to be it's just still like a situation like that is like super unattractive and i think this would lead me to number five and that's kind of like almost being your own boss we actually really like it when you're all you're like your own boss babe or whatever they call it because it shows us that you were driven about your goals you're on like self-improvement you're constantly improving yourself trying to become a better person not out doing degenerate shit like most women are doing 
you're looking to build. And when we look at you, we say, I want to build a family with you. These are just five qualities I would look for in a woman that I would consider marrying. If you have any more, leave them in the comments. Ayo, hey, five unpopular but attractive things that women do that men just absolutely love. Number one, look at you straight in the eyes while smiling. Like, yo, bro, it's a little intimidating, but it's so sexy when a girl does that shit. No bullshit. Number two, can have intellectual conversations with you, bro. I absolutely love a fucking intellectual woman. Like, when we can have an intellectual conversation, I don't know, that shit just turns me on. No cap. Number three, always trying to help you out in some way without asking. Like, that is just the most sexiest thing a woman can do. Like, she just wants to help you. Like, thank you. <laughs> Word. Number four, someone with thick skin, not a pushover, man. Like, no one wants someone who's super aggressive, but like she could take it and give it, man. I love it, man. And then number five, someone who's just as ambitious as you. That is the best thing. You want a woman who's fucking ambitious. That's so sexy. Boy. All men want to date the prettiest women. Look, let's be frank about it. Attractiveness is one of the number one traits that men look for in a partner. Whether you want to admit it or not, attractiveness is a status symbol in a partner, especially to a man. For example, have you ever been to a wealthy community and noticed that everybody there just seems to be a little bit more attractive? Well, typically in wealthy communities, status is very important, right? You're competing with everybody around you to have the most status there. And having an attractive partner is part of those things that you're competing with. Men are competitive creatures, and in that competitiveness, finding an attractive partner puts them in a higher status because they were able to find a more attractive suitor. Now, here is the flip side of it. Look, every man wants to date that influencer, that supermodel, all those things. But do most men actually have the capacity to date this kind of women? The women who are the supermodels, who are the influencers, those are the ones who are constantly being wooed by men 24-7, whether it's on social media, whether it's in real life. Men are always out there buying them things, trying to spoil them, take them on trips, take them out to fancy dinners. Are you ready to compete with that kind of man to win over one of these women? And this doesn't apply to all of these women, but some of these women will also leave a good man for a better man. Because when we're talking about the influencers, the supermodels, the ultra wealthy, status is one of the most important things to them, especially in the era we live in today where social media and your status and your reputation out there has never been more powerful. And so, yes, that's why you always see all these celebrities just dating somebody for six months, then breaking up and dating somebody else for six months. Look at the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey thing. You can't tell me that's not a ploy for both of them to get a little bit of status off of each other. Because, hey, maybe it's true love. I hope it is. I really hope it is. But all of these celebrity relationships, they just seem, you know, a little bit too planned. And they're both very attractive people with a lot of status. So whether you want to admit it or not, men are wired to look for attractive partners. However... Picking an attractive partner who is in your status, somebody that you can live with, that you can grow with, who also wants to live and grow with you, will ultimately lead you to a lot more satisfaction than, you know, these people we put on a pedestal who we think are so attractive, they have so much status, they're a supermodel influence. Just remember who you're competing with if you're going for this type of woman, and that you're going to have to bring a lot to the table to really impress one of these women. And I hate to break it to you, but not everybody has that. Not everybody's able to offer that, and that's okay. But just know that before you get yourself in too deep because it happens to some people, and then they realize the hard way that that is a whole other level of game that not everybody's capable of playing. The kind of woman every man wants to be with is very specific. It doesn't always mean that he will end up with this type of woman, but if you look deep into his heart, this is what he secretly wishes for. The first thing that is very important to him is that she's fun to be with. There's no man in the world who likes a woman who's nagging all the time. We expect our man to go out there in the world and make money. And if they don't, they're seen as losers. So when he comes home, he wants a woman who helps him to unwind. A woman who's easy to be with. But now I'll tell you something about what every man is looking for in a woman. And I bet you didn't know this. A man won't look for a woman who is an amazing cook or a woman who is so beautiful that he will love her just for that. A man doesn't love a woman for what she is. A man loves a woman for what he is when he's with her. If his career is very important to him and he believes that you could be this woman to support him in that, then he will want to be with you. Because having you in his life will make him feel better about himself. 
things women do that guys absolutely love. You hit that follow button because I make videos like this every single day. Number one, knowing how to properly kiss a guy's neck. Ladies, this shit right here is the best thing you could be doing to your dude. Do not inhale my neck, just lightly. Okay, trust me, these videos are quite funny and interesting. So what y'all think about the videos, the things they listed? Let me know in the comments. And of course, I'm gonna bring to your women's version because there are a lot of videos on TikTok women, you know, um, talking about the things they love in men. And seriously, there are some things they listed which I think I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you all think again in the comments and don't forget to like this video, share and come back for another interesting video. I'm gonna see you all in my next one. Y'all take care. Bye.